Hello friends. Good morning. Dear students, I am Dr. Rajni Gaur and going to present a new topic from my subject gender school and society. It is from unit 2, Gender Studies and Paradigm Shift and today's topic is Structural Theory. Giddens Structuration Theory is a formal social theory. Structural functionalism is a sociological theory that attempts to explain why society functions the way it does by focusing on the relationships between the various social institutions that make up society. Example government, law, education, family, religion, etc. According to this approach, society is a complex interconnected system where each part, for example, government, law, education, family, religion, caste, etc. works together as a functional whole. Just like in human body, each part, arms, legs, heart, brain, etc. has its own neurons and system for working but each part has to work together for a fully functioning structure or system. For the entire system to work all of the individual parts needs to work together. According to Robert K. Durkheim, society is made up of groups or institutions which are cohesive share common norms and have a definite culture. Social structures are the medium of activities as well as the result of those activities. Behavior and structure are intertwined. People go through a socialization process and become dependent of the existing social structures. Social structures not only restricts behavior but also create possibilities for human behavior. This theory seems inclined towards modernity. If we talk about structural tendency of education, we find that structural theorists chiefly give more importance to permanent powers. It is an extensive theory in education. These structural theorists focus their attention on power and privileges, consolidation by specific people. Power is imposed by one group on another and it can be regulated by different laws like force of money, hegemonic or institutionalization. There are few assumptions that works behind the structural functionalist theory. And these assumptions are society and social unit have order and interdependent parts. Every part of the society is dependent to some extent on other parts. Society and social unit works towards the equilibrium is that natural and smooth working of the system. Society and social units are separate and distinct but adapt and adjust to each other if one or more part conflicts with each other. Society has a tendency towards consensus and that is to have certain basic values that nearly everyone in the society agrees upon. Society is made up of group of institutions which are cohesive, share common norms and have a definite culture. The members of each functional units 
are aware of their specific roles and duties. They also share common cultural beliefs and social norms. There are two approaches of structural theory in sociology and these two main structural approaches are consensus theory and conflict theory. Functionalism, the consensus approach. Functionalist premise is that if an institution exists, then there must be some reason for its existence. They assume that educational institutions serve some societal needs and these educational institutions are supposed to give their positive contribution in the society. David Emile Durkheim was a great sociologist who draws an analogy between the way a biological organism works and society. The various organs of living thing work together in order to maintain a healthy whole in much the same way that various institutions in society work together to produce social order. If one part of the system does break down and become dysfunctional, then this can affect all the other aspects of society. For example, dysfunctional families have been connected to crime, mental illness and low level of educational achievement. One of the great sociologist Parsons identified various similarities between human body and society like each body and institutions have a unique function. All the bits and institutions work together harmoniously. The organs are interdependent on each other and these have an identifiable boundary. The sum is greater than its parts. Now the second approach is Marxism, the conflict approach. Social conflict theory is a Marxist based social theory which argues that individuals and groups within society interact on the basis of conflict rather than consensus. Conflict theory states that tensions and conflict arise when resources, status and power are unevenly distributed between groups in society and these conflicts become the engine for social change. Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels argued that all of human history is the result of conflict between classes which evolved over time in accordance with the change in society. Karl Marx also rightly said that conflict society sees society as a result of competition over scare resources. So if we really want to deal with the problems related to the society and the structure of the society, then one must understand the structural theory given by Giddens. Thank you friends. Hope this presentation helps you to understand the structural theory of Giddens in a better way. Thank you so much.